Good morning, bro chicas. I am having a productive day. I have two videos that I'm plan planning, planning to film, but I would like to film three. If I can get three done, I would like to. That's a lot to do in one day, but I feel like, you know, my hair is done, my makeup's done. Hopefully I can get all of them done. I've already filmed half of one video, but of course it took me so much time to like get ready and shower, get ready. I also had a therapy session in between there. And so it is now noon and I already had a little breakfast and like a tiny, tiny snack. Um, I really wanna eat lunch, but of course like I've got all this makeup on and I don't wanna ruin it. And I'm getting kind of tired already, so I'm having another cup of coffee. This will be my second cup of coffee. And I already drank my kombucha today, but I really don't want to lose my motivation and energy. So I'm having another one. And I'm also going to be uh, writing in my planner. You guys, I'm proud of myself. I have been using my planner, which is awesome. Um, the, one of the videos that I'm going to be filming today is actually not due to go live until March. So I really want to make sure that I write this down uh, so that I don't forget since that's kind of far away. But I figured if I get it filmed now, it's out of the way. I'll just edit it and it'll be ready to go when it can go live. I just don't like when products are sitting in my room and like waiting forever to film. I wanna just like film it and then put the products away if that makes any sense. So March 23rd is when the video has to go live. And then after I write down what I have to write down, I'll usually like go and look and see what I have coming ahead of time so i checked off my therapy session because that is over with and then on wednesday mila has a half day at school so it's good to like look because i can keep reminding myself of these things but yeah it is monday it's february guys like what in the actual heck is happening in life like it is february dude i can't even believe it it is seriously just so weird to me cannot comprehend it's like the fastest slowest january was the fastest slowest month i don't know if that makes any sense to you but it makes so much sense to me it felt like it was really slow it felt like january lasted like two months but it also is like wow we're in february and you know why i probably feel slow because i still don't feel like we're out of 2020 that's probably why yeah i'm gonna head upstairs even though i even though I still have some coffee, I'm gonna just go ahead and bring it upstairs with me and then I can film while drinking my coffee because we're just gonna be talking, kind of. Good morning, bro chicas. It is Tuesday and I just wanted to show you my fit because like, it is so cute. So cute, so obviously this set is from Shein, and then my lounge bra is showing underneath i know you guys liked that last time and i really liked it too like i love the vibe it's super cute and then when i raise my hands at least you know it's a, it's a long sports bra so um i am finally wearing this juicy choker so i've been completely forgetting to add to the vlog <laughs> i i realized like yesterday i think that i had started a vlog and like never added more to it eh. i think it's because i've had so many like dollar tree hauls out which you guys are loving and i am loving that and i am also loving buying things that i don't need as you can see by this ugly shirt i'm on my way to work my skin looks good in this sunlight it doesn't look that good in real life you guys but like the sunlight is is giving it to me okay um i did like a tiny bit of makeup because i just filmed my amazon must-haves video today which i've been wanting to film for a while now and i think i had some requests for it too so i'm hoping that y'all like that one 
it's gonna be out before this vlog for sure. Um, it is a super nice and sunny day today, you guys, but this morning it was literally hailing. <laughs> it was only tiny little hail balls, like little, little ones, but I remember leaving the house with the kids to bring Mila to school and I was like, what is that sound? What is that sound? It's like a pinging sound. What is that? I was like, oh, it's raining. It's just raining. And I was like, oh no, that's hail. So we are just having crazy weather. It is hot and cold and hot and cold, man. Um, yesterday it was 81 degrees for only an hour, but let me tell you, it was so beautiful. It was so beautiful. Like I wish it was long. It I wish it was hotter for longer because it was so nice. Like. I missed like the sunny warmth. Oh, I'm so ready for spring and summer, let me tell you. I brought some coffee with me today because I took a nap. I feel like I always take a nap on Wednesdays and Fridays because um, those are the days that I go to my serving job. So I get really tired and I really wanna be rested because I have to stay up later. Got this cup from Dollar Tree. Make today amazing. Okay, so in other news of my life, hubby and I have planned a spring break trip with the kids and I'm so excited. It's like still weird times and everything, but we went to this hotel during, during this pandemic time, obviously last year, but we've gone and they are really good with their sanitation, very clean and nice place and there wasn't too many people there. So we're gonna go there again. It's just like a nice resort in San Antonio and they have a lot of pools and they have like a kid pool with like water slides and stuff. And I feel fine with going into pools because there's chlorine which kills germs, you know? So I feel comfortable with it. I know some people might not like that but you know do you we are as safe as we can be and we follow the guidelines um yeah so we just we need to get away as do i'm sure everybody feels like they need to get away and so we decided to book a little trip in march because she's going to be on spring break from school and now we have something fun to look forward to and i'm excited to bring them because um this is usually hubby and i's spot like this is our anniversary spot this is our like date night spot like couples getaway spot but it is good for families because they have family oriented stuff they have like a kids club and fun things to do family wise and um <clears throat> i'm really excited to like show them where we go all the time they have a beautiful spa, which I probably won't be able to go to because we're going to be really doing family-oriented stuff. But I love the spa. I want to do the spa. I would bring my daughter to the spa, but I don't think you can bring kids. Like, she's too young for that. But it would be so much fun in the future, like, when she's a teenager, to go to the spa together. Oh, But they have a lot of good restaurants, and, yeah, we just just need a little getaway and we wanted to do like Disney but Disney is literally just a breeding ground for germs and tons of people from like I don't know like all over the world are there I don't know we just felt like it was a little bit too aggressive because we know that there's not that many people going to the place that we're going like last time we went you could definitely distance yourself and the staff had enough time to clean and all that but Disney is like I don't know man it just seemed a little bit too risky at a time like this and even with the lower prices it's so it's so expensive to go which it is my dream to bring my kids to Disney one day with all the rides and all the touching of all the things we weren't sure that was the right option for right now but yeah, that's the news that I got for you in my life. So that's, I'm so excited like to have something to look forward to and something to pack for, somewhere to wear cute outfits. Like, ah, like I'm so excited for warm weather, go swimming. I'm excited. I just wanna wear like girly stuff. Like I wanna wear dresses and cute floral stuff. Like I'm just so ready for spring, you guys. 
and I know I'm not the only one to want to go on a little getaway because I I'm seeing like all kinds of celebrities and and uh youtubers and all kinds of people are going on little vacations and stuff so I ain't the only one <laughs> a lot of people want to get away I mean pe places are in business let me tell you um sometimes I just get scrutinized just like any other influencer because I put my life on the you know on the internet but it is what it is I gotta do what makes me happy and that is gonna make me happy and I am excited about it also <clears throat> my watch was completely dead so I don't have a watch today to wear to work and I feel really naked like I don't feel right <laughs> it doesn't feel right but it was completely dead and I didn't have time to wait for it to charge so we're going to work with no watch I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself I probably already showed this in another piece of the vlog, but I don't remember. But I changed my jewelry to gold and it's so cute. I know it's like a bad, it's hard to see. These are not like clear white. They're kind of like that iridescent color. But yeah, I'm feeling the gold right now. And that way I can wear my gold uh, name plate necklace. And I put extra freckles today. I'm feeling it. So this vlog has been all over the place, <laughs> literally all over the place. It is Tuesday night now and it's 8.40 p.m. I just got upstairs and washed my face and brushed my teeth, kind of going to lay down and get ready for bed because I took melatonin at 8. So I have been having super restless leg syndrome and it's been really, really frustrating. So. I think it's actually a side effect of my medication, but I can fall asleep during the day. Like I've been taking naps almost every day and it's just, I can't help it. Like I cannot help it. I just get so tired um, right after noon. And at nighttime, I'll be tired mentally, but like my legs are so uncomfortable. Like they will not, rest like and all day long I feel like I've just been like tapping 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 my feet just like always like shaking my leg tapping my feet and I know that I need to work out more and like hopefully that will help and I just I haven't done it also I just got my period so I'm feeling just very unmotivated with exercise and um yeah, I got I got to be honest with you. Like I'm feeling crappy this week because I've been super hungry and like wanting to snack a lot and then not being able to sleep. Yeah. So, I don't take melatonin every day, but like um I take it every couple of days to be honest because I'm so tired of not being able to fall asleep because of my dang legs. Like my legs are driving me nuts. And yeah. I really need to make a valid effort to work out more, but, like, I just don't want to. Like, I wish I wanted to work out more, but I really, really don't, if I'm just being completely honest. Ugh, it just sucks. I know it's, like, just discipline, just, like, make yourself do it, but I just, I have no desire, like, at all. So I've been dealing with that. It's been really, really frustrating really fresh i'm so tired of getting five hours of sleep all because i can't fall asleep because my legs are restless um so yeah i'm getting tired already because i took the melatonin at eight so i'm gonna get to bed i felt like there was another thing i had to update you guys on and i can't remember what it was good morning it is wednesday so the thing i was going to tell y'all last night that I forgot to tell you. It was nothing important, but I painted my nails this really cute um, pastel lavender color, and look, it's already chipped. Already chipped. I also painted my toes this color, and it's like really, really cute, you know? Like springy, like yes, I'm already, already ready for spring, but it's literally already chipping, and that's what pisses me off about Wearing nail polish. Oh, is that a new pimple? Yes, it is. Welcome. So yeah, I love wearing my natural nails. I've been loving it. Like I, I've been liking not having the fake nails on, 
but I hate how it just chips like that. Like, oh, that's so frustrating. Like I literally just painted them yesterday. How is it chipped already? I have a top coat and everything. That pisses me off. So, kind of thinking maybe I should buy gel nail polish and one of those lights from Amazon. Um, Cause like shellac will last longer, right? So I'm like, maybe I should just buy that and do that on my nails. Cause also I have that vacation coming up and I definitely want my nails done, but I don't want fake nails on. So maybe I should do the shellac so I can ensure that um, it's not chipping on my little vacation. Also, I could just go to the salon, but I don't want to. I always have felt like every time I've gone to a nail salon, like they just don't give a sh about how they're doing my nails. Like they don't care if it looks good. They don't care if they mess up. I feel like they always blame you if it comes out looking dumb. And yeah, they just, I don't know, the past few times that I've gone, like maybe I've gone to like cheap ones or bad ones or something, but I just feel like they just don't care about the quality of the set that they're giving you. They're just like quickly like, bip, 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 here you go, bye. And I would rather do my nails myself because they come out really, really good. I save money and I pay attention to detail. Um, and I just feel like they just don't care about how the nails look. <laughs> If you know what I'm saying, let me know. Because, like, unless you want to go pay, like, $80 to get your nails done somewhere, like, really, really bougie, I feel like those regular nail salons, they just don't care. If one nail is crooked or if one nail is, like, missing some polish or it's not, like, looking right or whatever the hell. So, that's why I do my nails myself. Plus, uh, you know, like, hygienic-wise with all this pandemic stuff. Um, I would just rather not go into a nail salon because a lot of times I feel like you think they have clean tools, but they probably don't. Um, I don't know. It just grosses me out. It just like grosses me out. So when I go to get a pedicure every once in a while, because it's I hardly do it, but when I do it, I go somewhere really bougie. Um, somewhere I know <laughs> that they're cleaning the little tub thing out, so... Yeah, that was a rant about my nails, but I'm just pissed off that I literally just painted them and they're already ruined. So basically gonna be a boring day. It's Wednesday, so I have work later. Um, but I just finished doing my grocery list and I submitted that for pickup because we always do the curbside pickup. Um, so my husband and the kids are gonna pick that up later while I'm at work and right now I'm just, drinking some kombucha this is a pineapple spirulina kombucha and yeah it took me forever to work on the grocery list because i get so bored of my food like i have to change it up all the time like i'm so annoying i wish i could just eat the same thing over and over again excuse me not right now please but i cannot oh there was something else i wanted to mention to you guys so I used to sell stuff on Poshmark and then I stopped because it, I don't have a printer so it's like hard for me to print out the shipping labels. Um, but I decided to get back on my Poshmark. So if you guys want to buy anything, if you're like the same size as me or anything and you wanna check out my Poshmark closet, I will go ahead and leave it down below for you guys in the description box. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, not a collaboration. I've literally used Poshmark before. And I've been trying to sh uh, share, I've been trying to sell these Shein shoes, which I've shown you guys before because I hauled them from Shein. Uh, they are so, so beautiful, so cute, but they are too small for me. Um, maybe you guys remember me talking about them. They are so cute and I'm really, really upset that I really can't wear them. I've tried to wear them and like, I think I wore them one time and I was like, you know what? This is not, I can't, there's no way. It's They're definitely too small. So unfortunately I have to get rid of them. I've been trying to sell them on Facebook Marketplace. Haven't got any hits yet. And they're really good quality. Like they're brand new. And I really don't want them to go to waste. And so yeah, I'm gonna sell them on Poshmark for a really reasonable price. So I think they were like $30 originally and I'm selling them for 13. 
Um, so yeah, I, I would recommend them to a size eight, but I was figuring I could go through my closet this morning and kind of like get some other things that I could sew because I'm sure that there's a lot of like spring and summer clothes that don't fit me anymore um, from last year. So that's what I wanna do. And I think this is a great idea for if you want to get a new wardrobe for the next season, but you're on a budget, you know, like just sell your clothes from the previous year and then just use that money to get your new wardrobe, you know? Like, I'm very lucky that I get to collab with clothing brands and just like basically get a whole new wardrobe for free, but I would like to purchase clothes from places that I don't collab with, like Target. It has been a hot minute since I shopped at Target for like clothes or shoes or anything like that. And I keep seeing these Target hauls that are so cute. And I really wanna go shopping there for like spring and summer stuff. So I'm kinda trying to earn a little bit of side money so that I can like do a Target clothing haul for you guys. I just wanna do all the spring hauls and all the summer hauls cause I'm so excited to shop for warm weather. And I think the reason why I'm like extra excited this year is because last year I did not feel confident in my body and I feel like I just didn't love my body to my full potential. And I was embarrassed to wear short shorts because my thighs were touching and rubbing and chunky and squishing out of places. And so I didn't even barely wear shorts and if I wore sh shorts, they were like biker shorts um not like shorter shorts and it's not like I want to wear coochie cutters or anything like that because that's just downright uncomfortable and I do chafe but I'm just so excited to be confident in what I'm wearing for the spring and summer you know if you're like a chunkier thick girl a big girl it's probably uh you <laughs> like I don't know you're probably like me where your favorite is fall and winter because you could wear pants and layers and just feel comfortable and although I love summer so much it can be very uncomfortable because of the heat and the chafing and you're very hot and you want to wear shorts but sometimes it's uncomfortable to wear shorts or you don't feel comfortable wearing shorts well that's why I'm super excited for this spring and summer because I want to feel confident I feel good about my body I know who I am I know how to dress now I feel like I have better style than last year and I'm just excited about it. Like I'm excited. I'm excited to not give a damn about wearing shorts or anything that makes me feel good. I don't know. I'm just excited for it. So yeah, I think right now what I'm going to do to be productive is just go through some old uh, clothes like I told you and kind of like list them on my Poshmark so that I can earn the money to like go shopping at Target because I think that would be a fun haul and it would be different because I never do clothing hauls from there and yeah so this is exciting I got off work early and it is currently 7 30 p.m so I decided I would go to the gym I never go to the gym at night but I do have a lot of energy and I really don't want to have a hard time falling asleep tonight since I do have to wake up early to bring my daughter to school tomorrow and I don't want to have restless legs and I just I didn't do much like I only worked for three and a half hours so I was like hey let's go to the gym let's do it so I'm going to the gym on a Wednesday night look at me and yeah I'm just gonna do some probably just like cardio earlier this morning I don't think I told you guys but I decided to do 50 jump, jumping jacks and 30 squats which I know isn't much but I was like if I can just start by doing a little bit consistently then maybe I'll want to do more so I'm gonna go in there and maybe do like some stairmaster slash treadmill stuff good morning so I'm about to make my breakfast and I thought I would show you guys because it's just gonna be really cute and aesthetically pleasing yeah I am wearing the same pajamas because I Sorry, that's my dishwasher. I am wearing the same pajamas because I typically wear the same pajamas two times in a row, just two. Um, if I've like showered right before I put them on. So obviously last night you guys saw I went to the gym. Come on. This is not the best setup, I'm sorry. But yeah, last night I went to the gym so I obviously took a shower before I put these on. So anyways, 
Um, I'm gonna make my little yogurt parfait breakfast. It's only 8.30, but I'm super hungry. And you guys, I'm so proud of myself because I washed my blueberries, all of them, which I never do. And that's what makes me not like eat them fast enough is because I'm like, oh, I have to wash them. Yeah, so I washed all of my blueberries and they fit in this Dollar Tree container that is for fruit and for berries. And it goes like this and I'm like so happy with it. So this is a pint of blueberries. So just so you guys know, it fits a pint perfectly and it is so cute. Yeah, got that from Dollar Tree. My yogurt is this H-E-B dairy-free coconut-based yogurt. It's vanilla flavored. And what got me was, first of all, I love H-E-B, H-E-B's uh, brand, which is my grocery store. So obviously if you don't have H-E-B, you could get like the silk one. I know they have a silk, like almond milk one and a coconut milk one. I feel like there's other brands you can get as well that are non-dairy. I just can't do dairy like that, so I got the non-dairy. This has a B12 and live probiotics, which is something that really got me. I was like, okay, yes, it's gluten-free, lactose-free, obviously. And there is 14 grams of added sugars. Um, <clears throat> I wanted something low sugar, but you know, it's kind of hard to find something low sugar and non-dairy when it comes to yogurt. So I just had to deal with it. 160 calories for three fourths of a cup. And I feel like the ingredients are not too bad. It's just literally coconut milk, sugar, natural flavors, vanilla beans, live and active cultures, and B12, vitamin B12. And that's it. So I'm gonna use this. And then I also bought some sliced almonds, nice and easy. And I have local honey I'm gonna drizzle over top. And I've been using local honey for a while now. I really think it's helping me not have seasonal allergies because my whole family is having allergies right now and I'm not, so just saying. Um, then I also bought this Sola granola and this is a four net carb per bowl granola, which is like extremely low carbs. It's gluten-free, there's 16 grams of protein, which is really good. I got the flavor vanilla almond. Four net carbs, which is extremely good for granola. So I used to use this when I was keto. I'm not keto anymore, but since I have such, such uh, so much sugar in this, in the honey, you know, you gotta cut it out somewhere. So yeah, I'm gonna put this all together and like show you how it looks. I'm so excited because it seems really delicious. So I actually decided to opt out of using the honey because I tasted the yogurt, which by the way, tastes delicious. And I didn't think I was gonna like it as much as I do. Cause like coconut milk is not my favorite dairy alternative, um, but it's actually so delicious, but it's sweet. So I felt like, uh, I feel like the granola is also a little bit sweet. The blueberries are a little bit sweet. I didn't want it to be way too sweet. So if I need some, I'll add some, but as of right now, I did not add it because I didn't want it to be too sweet for me. And here's how it looks. Isn't it so cute and aesthetically pleasing? I didn't do like a whole humongous amount because I don't know how filling this is gonna be with the granola. I added some almonds, obviously. There's already almonds in the granola because it's vanilla almond flavored, but I love nuts. Like I love crunchy yogurts. So I had to add more, of course, and then tons of blueberry. Um, yes, this looks so good and I'm really, really excited. Absolutely delicious, by the way. Definitely doesn't need honey. I guess honey would work more if I got like <clears throat> a plain yogurt, like almost like a Greek style yogurt that didn't have any sweetener in it. I feel like this is gonna be a long vlog, but I also feel like you guys like that, so. Um, hey, we're in my closet. <laughs> I'm gonna pick out my outfit for tomorrow because, I mean, for tonight, because today is hubby's birthday. So if y'all wanna wish him a happy birthday, um, I will let him know, I'll show him the comments. But yeah, he is 31 today, so he's caught up to me. He's three months younger than me, so 
I've been 31 since November and today is his birthday, he's 31. And we're gonna go out to dinner, si Dios quiere, because it is very disgusting outside. It is like 25 degrees, 28 degrees right now. It's windy. There was freezing rain. Um, when we woke up this morning, everything outside was icy. There's already been car accidents on the highway we've heard of because of the icy roads. So it's really going to depend on how the rest of the day goes. But um, it's been really, really nasty outside. It's super freezing. So we'll see. But we're supposed to go out to dinner tonight to celebrate his birthday. And we, yeah, so I'm going to pick out the outfit. And I'm going to get ready like as if we're going because um, why not? Anyways, um, I ain't got nothing else to do today. Obviously, it's Thursday, so I have the day off. We did our grocery shopping yesterday, so we don't need to do that, which is good. But I know for sure I'm going to wear these jeans um, these are my newer pair of American Eagle jeans. They're a little bit wrinkled because I wear my jeans like two or three times before I wash them. Let me know if you guys do that. Like, I feel like we all do that. Anyways, so once they're on me, they're not wrinkled because they're tight. They're skinny jeans. They're jeggings. This is the luxe jean. So they are super, super stretchy. This is the curvy, super high rise jegging. And I get mine in the size 14 these have no distressing on them i really really love these jeans so just regular jeans of course i'm gonna be wearing those now since it is so cold like it is so freezing i need to wear something really 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 warm um i think i'm gonna wear my i know for sure i want to wear this jacket because it's brand new, it's from Yoins. It was from the last Yoins haul that I did, which was a while ago, but I've never worn it still. And it's like this beautiful camel color and it seems like it will be super warm. It's in the size 1XL and it's got two buttons here. It's got pockets and it also has this little belt detail. So I feel like this will go good with the jeans. So plans have changed, as I kind of predicted. Um, we will not be going anywhere today because the roads are way too dangerous. They've advised us not to drive unless it's an emergency. So we won't be going anywhere. Um, I decided that I would do a face mask, you know, just to do something fun in this vlog. And then I'll probably end the vlog and upload it today. So. I would really like to try this Freeman Feeling Legendary Pore Cleansing Volcanic Ash Peel Off Gel Mask. And this is for men, obviously. Anybody can use it, I'm gonna use it. And I found this at Dollar Tree recently, if you watched my Dollar Tree hauls. I got it in this little um, two pack for $1 brand name mask at Dollar Tree. And this was in the Valentine's Day section. And it also came with this oil absorbing marine algae clay mask, which I think would be great to prep for makeup if you have like oily skin, doing this a couple hours before you apply your makeup. But I really like this chlor, chlor, pore cleansing aspect of this. It deep cleans, tones, and clears pores. So I would really like to try this. It says it's the volcanic ash, which is very interesting. And so I'm going to put that on, but first I'm going to fix my ponytail. I took a shower and I got dressed for the day. It is a very cold and lazy day where we're not leaving. So I am wearing gray sweatpants from Shein, just gray jogger sweatpants. And then my perfectly imperfect t-shirt with a sports bra. And you guys, I started using this, even though I wasn't finished with my other dry shampoo, I started using this cause I just wanted to like try it and see how it smelled and everything. It smells really, really good. And I'm super glad that I got three of these. Totally worth your dollar, totally. It smells so good. And it does exactly what I expect a dry shampoo to do. And if you missed that video, of course, I found this at Dollar Tree, brand name for a dollar. Now, just to make myself feel better, 
and just like give myself a little bit of happiness because it's so gloomy and sad out today, I'm going to put a light blue scrunchie in, which I also got at Dollar Tree. And my Dollar Tree just restocked all of these recently. It's kind of like a faux suede texture. And they also have matching headbands. They have pink, blue, purple, and like a taupe color. And I really like these scrunchies because they actually, the texture of it like holds your hair really, really well. So, so basically when I know I'm going to be like lazy in the house, not like lazy, lazy, but like I'm not going anywhere. Maybe I have like chores I have to get done. I do like to shower and put a sports bra on and like do my skincare and like fix my hair, even if it's just in like a bun, like a messy bun. If I just like fix myself a little bit, it kind of motivates me to get in, like important things done, like dishes and laundry and all that. Today, what I'm tackling is folding and putting away laundry. I have tons of clean laundry that are in the baskets that I need to fold and put away. So, ah, um, I just feel a little bit, just like a little bit more presentable when I do this. I don't know, let me know if you guys do that too. So I'm gonna put this mask on and finish putting away my clothes. I've already folded a lot of them. I just really have to like put them away now. That is so satisfying when it's like a black mask. I don't know why, but I love it. And I'm again, I'm using my mask applicator from Dollar Tree. I've been loving this because I don't have to get my fingers all yuck. Ooh, this smells good. All right, and just in case you guys were curious while I was putting this on, the amount that it took to put on my face, I would say that you have about two and a half masks worth. That's just a complete guess, but that's what it feels like. Um, it feels like you would have like one and a half, it feels like I have one and a half masks left in here, so but still like for 50 cents technically I still feel like that's a really good deal because it's brand name and if you think about a sheet mask you get a sheet mask for a dollar and that's only one time and I would say this tube is like two and a half so like with the leftover that you couldn't do your whole face you could just do like over your pores and your forehead or something all right so the mask is done peeling it off was so satisfying I feel like it literally cleaned out my pores like it just took everything with it stripped it of all like the nasty stuff so I'm feeling really good and I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog now because I think it's getting pretty lengthy and I'm gonna start editing it so that I can hopefully upload it today so thank you guys for watching this really random vlog I don't even know what I'm gonna call it probably just random vlog and I will see you guys in the next video <laughs>